Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. We already made the video about free to play archers hero progression throughout the seasons, especially for free to play players and also for pay to win players. Today we are going to do same regarding mages. Because, yeah, mages have been the popular uh, troop type in the game for a while, right? So, as you are starting the game as a free-to-play player or even pay-to-win player and you want to be a mage, which means you want to have highest range uh, in terms of all units in the game, uh, which is a good advice for me to play with, uh, then you are going to choose the correct faction, right? So, first of all, you are choosing the correct faction. Correct faction for mages, that's League of Order. And there is a couple of uh, important uh, ways why this faction is important to have as a free-to-play player, even uh, pay-to-win player, right? First of all, let's say regarding the first and main hero, which is Walder. Uh, if the main hero of the faction is uh, this hero, it means you are going to get a lot of epic tokens of Walder and... Uh, you will be the Walder will be the first hero which you will going to be awakening, right? And this is really really good. I have been playing this game for more than 500 days and I'm still using Walder. Second reason, of course, uh, one of the, not one of the, the best flying uh, troop type troops in the game, uh, which is Celestials, which are again mages, right? We, we're gonna be able to have two troops which are mages and it will be increasing our odds to have the more than one. A hero pair for mage um, gameplay right and also some good stats legion magic defense which means which intensifies us to play more mages uh, which is three percent and overall gathering speed which is ten percent so let's say we already made the correct decision we are playing with mages uh, and we are we are choosing league of order so in terms of hero progression of course uh, we already know we have Walder, right as fast to that as we are going to awaken Walder, it will be improving our gameplay a lot, right? Even if you are mage player, you want to have awaken Walder. I think Walder is still the best uh, epic hero in the game, especially in open field battles, which are PvP, right? So first hero pair for free to play or even pay to win players is uh, Walder as a primary and Welin as a secondary. Everything about this hero pair feels good. Um, like for example, he, like Welin is uh, more of a control type, like a buffer. But in terms of buffs, Welin has amazing buffs for mage players, right? Hero skill damage. Main uh, way of uh, mages dealing damage is hero skill, 15%. We have crit rate, which is amazing buff. We we have magic defense reduction, and uh, which is a good thing about this hero pair is that. Welling is uh, giving enemies uh, ho Horror Frost, which is removing 20% uh, uh, of March speed, right? And of course, if you're gonna awaken Welling, I think it's a correct choice for mage players. In terms of world, the awakening skill is amazing. Uh, it has a synergy with Welling's Hot Frost, and you are dealing damage to Strainer by Legions, right? That's the most perfect thing which, which you can get uh, in Call of Dragons during Wars that you will be able to uh, deal damage to multiple legions in terms of uh, artifact i think phoenix eye is a great choice you can get phoenix eye from the normal keys from the uh, universal artifact um, and well i'm really really enjoying playing Walder and Welling with phoenix eye of course if we're gonna have more levels on burst strike it's better it will be like damage dealing damage to five targets is amazing uh, in my opinion so this is like already one hero pair which like for example Warpath should be like Sapphire Fedrake. It's my choice. Of course there is another choices. Uh, if you are a pay to win player then you are exchanging Walder to something else uh, which is Lilia and Welin. Um, that's what you are playing with as a pay to win player because if you have 5111 Lilia that doesn't really change much right. You should have awakened Lilia and you are going to have huge, huge difference. Lilia and Welling is not only an early game hero pair, it's about late game, right? It's mid game, like every stage of the game, Lilia and Welling will be important. And of course, if you're gonna have Infernal Flame in addition to Lilia, 
um, then you are good to go, right? It's a Merit Farmer, highest range, a lot of DPS, a Scorch, um, which is dealing huge amount of damage, plus Infernal Fame has its own Scorch. That's like additional uh, advice for pay to win players, and we are going to move back with the mages which we have, right? For a free to play player. So, first, our hero pair is Waldir and Welling, but if we are playing with the League of Order, which means we have Celestials, which are flying units, right? At first, of course, uh, for Celestial hero pair at the beginning, you have uh, Atheus, which is um, like flying uh, epic hero, and you got Tia, which is the best overall hero in the, currently in the game, giving tons of buffs, right? I'm not going to say that Atheus and Thea with Celestials will be the best hero pair, but at the beginning it will do its job. It will, it will give you the difference of playing with Westhals to Celestials, which I think is important to understand if you will be mage player in the future. So, we are starting the game, we have Walder and Welin uh, with Westhals, and we have Atheus and Thea with Celestials, right? So we have already a great hero pair, if you ask me, of course, Atheus and Walder will be awakened really, really soon, and then you're gonna decide if you're gonna put skills on Welling or Thea, right? Throughout the game, whenever we are progressing, of course, we are getting more and more heroes, and in addition, like especially for free to play players, you can actually get Bertrand from the Lucky Spins, which means spending some, like at least 10,000 gems on Lucky Spins on Bertrand, you will be able to unlock this hero, which is mage skill PvP hero. Always happy to see skill talent tree on a mage hero, right? 5111 is of course minimum. And what we are going to do is Bertrand, right? Uh, we have a couple of choices. Bertrand can be uh, paired with Tia, which means we are exchanging Atheus with Bertrand, which is a big upgrade, right? So Bertrand with Thea will be the hero pair for Celestials. Uh, that will be like a really, really good hero pair in my opinion. Uh, being more of a tanky and stay alive longer for Bertrand, it benefits him a lot. And if we are going to speak about um, artifacts, I think Mirage Orb is the best artifact for Bertrand uh, in my opinion. But of course, even Phoenix Eye can be totally fine. Some players are actually even playing with Tier of Arbon, which gives more, more defensive stats. Uh, and like, a, like Thea is of course more of a defensive uh, overall hero and getting Thea of Arbon, you are exchanging your, at least not like a damage dealer hero pair, it's more of a support type, right? So in here we have also some choices, um, like um, I think Thea of Arbon can be fine, Phoenix Eye can be fine, a Mirage Orb is the best choice, and yeah, like uh, for example, even... The Breath of the Gargantis can be totally fine, right? So we have a couple of choices. Uh, and in terms of Warped, I think Shadow of Edgewake is the perfect Warped for uh, Bertrand uh, Hero Pair in general. And if you already got Shadow of Edgewake, you are already in a very, very good spot. Uh, let's say we are moving forward um, through the game and somehow from Wheel of Destiny where we are able to get Toha, right? Uh, Toha is great addition for mages because it's a first hero which is uh, garrison for mages, which means whenever you're gonna have Toha as a garrison leader in your garrison, uh, you will be using your mages, which are the strongest uh, troops, whenever you are defending. But of course, Toha is quite useful during PvP. Um, for example, right, we're gonna we can make different type of hero pairs, but strongest one in my opinion here is. Uh, Bertrand and Tohar, uh, the hero which came out together, more of a single target damage dealer hero pair. Um, of course, minimum should be 5-1-1-1. And of course, the uh, like second skill is for Garrison. And well, if you are not getting uh, Tohar as a Garrison leader, then you don't want to have a lot of skills on this, guy, on this skill, right? But in general, I like this hero pair because this skill is amazing. 15% counter-attack damage taken reduction and 35% defense, which make this hero pair really, really tanky. Of course, you can run Bertrand and Tohar with Celestials, with Westhals. Uh, both, of, uh, both of the troop types is really, really good. But if we're gonna compare two of them, uh, Celestials has more attack and uh, Westhals has more HP. So let's, like, we are already in late game, right? 
even during late game you will be you can simply play Waldir and Welling, you can play Bertrand and Tohar, you can play Bertrand and Thea, and uh, like one of the best uh, late game PvP hero pairs, uh, Lilia with uh, Welling is really really good. Of course, if we're gonna continue and speak about pay to win players, we have a couple of uh, additions in mage hero pairs, such as for example um, uh, Lilia, Awakened Lilia, and uh, um, Thea with Celestials plus Infernal Flame and Sapphire Fair Drake is one of the best Merit Printer hero pair in my opinion currently in the game. The additional buffs which uh, Thea is giving to Lilia and Lilia's uh, Scorch ability is super good and I think like Lilia is like separate mage, uh, like best mage even right now in the game and it's really really unfortunate that it's only uh, viable for pay to win players not only right you you have to have awakened skilled whenever you are dealing diffuse damage to two nearby legions and applying scorch plus plus scorch from inferno flame that's really really good so like this is like main progression so far for uh, mages of course uh, we are awaiting uh, next two mage in the game and this is how generally looks uh, mage hero pairs right well they're in Welling. Uh, we have uh, Lilia with Welin, uh, we have Bertrand with Thea, we have Bertrand with Tohar. So there is a couple of choices we already spoke, like what would be the beginner's choice, what you're gonna go for a mid-game, what would be the late-game choices. So you can understand what direction you want to go. If you want to deal more damage to multiple targets, you are playing with Walder and Welin, um, because Walder's awakening skill, if you want, and the plus one more is... Uh, Lilia with the 80 with, with Thea, uh, plus because Lilia has um, damage dealing to near, two nearby legions in the awakening skill, and more of a single target damage dealers are Bertrand and Tohar, and Bertrand and uh, Thea, right? And like one of the best uh, artifacts, which are Mirage Orb, Phoenix Eye, Infernal Flame, uh, Juggernauts, uh, like I, I honestly think there is a lot better mage artifacts than archers because they are dealing way 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 more damage and especially i like that phoenix eye is more of a free-to-play friendly artifact which is i don't know like i have been super i have been super uh fun playing with the uh, and Wellen well with phoenix eye and with the uh, sapphire fair drake and especially my phoenix eye is not even five it's just two levels five will give you additional target which is the most important thing uh, you actually want to have whenever you are playing mages right i hope guys it's understandable what are the ways for mages to play currently in the game uh, of course we are getting some new heroes epic ones um, especially uh, the tara is interesting maybe it will be fitted in some mage hero mage uh, legion but at, like at first we need to try it out and we need to see how actually uh, it shapes up the of the meta and of course i'm really really excited to wait how two new new mages are going to look like uh, because i think they will be op because bertrand and tohar was not op it was totally fine but new mages i'm expecting them to be really really good i hope guys you like the video um because i have asked to make this kind of videos for a really really long time and yeah if you if this video was helpful for you press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game i wish everybody amazing day morning and night uh, we are going to see each other really really soon bye bye and good luck